Right. Good morning, everybody. Uh, let me know in the chat if you can hear me and see me okay. Uh, my name is Paul Grogan, and today I'm going to be doing part one of a playthrough series of Drake Hollow. And I say a series, it might just be part one. I've not really played this game. I've not played this game. Forget the word really. Um, <clears throat> I don't know that much about it other than when it was announced uh, and it came out, I think at the end of last year, I was interested in it. I contacted them and I said, uh, I'd be happy to cover the game on the channel. If you wanted to send me a key for the game, they sent me a key for the game and then months and months passed and I never got around to doing it. So I felt really guilty and we're going to go for it now. Now, if you can hear me and see me okay, please let me know in the chat if everything is working fine. I'm using a new chat system today because the previous one, uh, for those regular viewers, will know that it, it wasn't working. And it looks like this one is not working. Because <laughs> uh, the chat is definitely working. And I'm just going to send, yeah, yeah, people are here. Jill's here. James is here. Peter's here saying the AV is okay. But nothing is showing on the screen. Uh, you can see the bar on the left hand side for the stream viewer. Uh, it was working last night. I did a test last night and it was working. So that is a little disappointing how uh, it, it's not working. Um, yeah, I can change the color of it, but nothing is appearing on the screen. That's really unusual. Yeah, really unusual considering that I, I set it up last night and, and it worked okay. Right. In which case, we're going to go back to the old chat system, uh, which, again, as regular viewers will know, uh, just keeps breaking all of the time. But let's, let's see. So let's get the old chat system up. Right, there is the old chat system. Let's hide the new one. There you go. Right. Um, now, I know there are messages newer than that. So let's just refresh it. Uh, and let's see if this breaks. Um, it probably will break. There we go. Um, so yeah, the chat is on the screen. I can see the chat. Uh, it might break. If it does, I will refresh it. But anyway, we're going to jump into the game. So again, I don't know much about it, but it was a game which piqued my interest when it came out. So there's obviously something about it. And I'm going to turn the sound on for the computer game. And again, as normal, uh, let me know if the sound of the computer game is too loud or too quiet compared to me. Right. Now, when I loaded the game up this morning, the first thing it did is give me an option to customize our character. And I was like, whoa, wait a minute. I just, I just want to exit that. So I've exited, but let's go back in and let's pick a character. This is our character. Now, I'm, I'm more than happy with this one. This is, the, this is the default character. But as you can see, you can customize uh, body, skin color, eye color, hair color. I'm, I'm more than happy just to keep this eyebrow color. <laughs> I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm more than happy just to keep the basic, uh, the basic one. Oh gosh, yeah, I'll, I'll keep the basic one, I think. There you go. Um, so we'll accept that. Accept changes, yes. And let's click new game. And let, let's see what happens. I assume we're going to get some graphical introduction at the start. Oh, well, campaign, obviously. Obviously. Select preset. Okay, right, so... Classic, the default experience. Probably going to go with that one. Creative. Uh, okay, so I've played crafting games before, and the creative mode basically means you've got infinite resources to build whatever you want. We're not going to do that one. Competitive is an increased challenge, but definitely not. And Iron Man is a high difficulty. We're going to go for classic, and we'll see how this is. Um, we might have to tweak it to our liking in custom later on, but not knowing the game, I'm going to go with classic first. The chat's broken already. <laughs> Plinky plinky music. There's no audio, so I guess we're just trying to work out what's happened. Looks like Sam's breaking up with her. Oh. Right. What is this mysterious factory on the hill? Okay, well, the graphics are really good. It's a crow with a compass and glowing green eyes. Okay, I think we're in. 
Yeah, we are, we are in. Right, okay, so I'm moving my mouse around to have a look around, and I assume it is WSD keys. Uh, it's not going to let me jump off the cliff, okay? Just got to check these things. Okay, yeah, I do like the graphics. The graphics really nice. Right, let's follow the crow. Oh, disappeared in a purple glow. Okay, let's carry on following down the path and see what's here. Right, what is this? I've got a different path for you, says the crow. Oh! Right, so, it's blocked that off and it wants us to go through here. This way, kid. Okay, here we go. Well, Gim Gumbo's here. Good morning. It must be very early for you. Or very late. Are you staying up late? <laughs> Right, lots of walking around at the moment. Enjoying the nice graphics and scenery. Right, the wise crow says, hey kid, look, I've been sent to find someone and I think you're it. Uh, this door I'm sitting on, gonna need you to walk through it. It's not strictly speaking a normal spooky door in the woods, really more of a portal. Some folks on the other side could really use your help. I can't force you to step through. You've gotta do that on your own, but I'd appreciate you deciding fast. My brain's getting foggier the longer I'm on this side. You're not going to be able to stick around for much longer. I've got to warn you, this could be a one-way trip. No telling when you might get back. It's going to be dangerous. So you up for an adventurer? Step on in. Okay. I'm going to turn my sound down a little bit here. That shouldn't adjust the sound for you. And the chat has broken again. Right. Just bear with us a minute. I am going to try and get that new chat working because I, I, I did get it working last night and it was fine. Um, yeah, okay, so let's get rid of, how did I get it working last night? Yeah, the chat now isn't working. Okay, tell you what I'm going to do, just bear with us a second. I'm going to remove that and we're going to add a new one in. So add... Uh, stream chat view. I was talking with the uh, company last night, XSplit, and they were able to recreate the problem that I was having with the chat, which is which is good in a way. Um, yeah, so it's linked to Facebook. I don't want it to link to Facebook. I want it to link to YouTube. So we log into YouTube. We select gaming rules. This is exactly what I did last night. Okay, YouTube, and then it appeared. The chat then appeared on screen, but right now the chat is not appearing. So yeah, even though it did it last night, it's not doing it now. Which is very odd. Very, very odd. Um, yeah, okay. So unfortunately, we got the same problem with the chat as we've had before, uh, in that it just keeps breaking. There you go. Okay, so BJ says, um, have I found a powerful shotgun? Wrong game. Oh, BJ's early hitting the bike. Right, okay. So the sound from the game is a little loud. Right, I can turn that down. No problem. Okay, I've turned it down. Uh, that should be, that should be better. Let me know. I've turned it down a bit. Right, we're going to step through this portal. I will keep an eye on the chat. Off we go then. safe. Generating world. The hollow one. Right, okay, so we have a bit of a recap of the story. Phones out of power and it looks like a laptop. Okay, press space. Can do that. So it's generated a world. I don't know that that to me then means that this isn't the same map for everybody. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Still a little loud, right? Okay, thank you. I'll turn it down a bit more. There you go. Right, okay. So we're just looking around. We don't know what we're doing. 
Have a look behind this tree because you know what you find behind trees. Ten gold pieces? Nope. Um, okay, so I'll follow the path. Uh, I'm assuming there's going to be some... Oh, E. Blight Shroom. Okay, I'm going to press E. I've collected a Blight Shroom. Can we collect more of them? Oh, yeah. Right, let's collect all of these because you never know. Oh, there's loads of them. <laughs> Oh, and interesting, we can walk behind the portal where we were. Right, I'm collecting all of these blight rooms without knowing what they are for whatsoever. But we've now got loads of them. 16 of them. Anybody know what they do? Gareth here. Hi, Gareth. Join me as I find out what this game is all about. At the moment, it's picking mushrooms. Which is all I'm doing so far. I have 17 of the little more things. No idea what I'm going to do with them. Right, what have we got here? We've got a church in like a swamp with spiky tentacle things. Oh, the crow. Right, are you going to tell me what's going on? Ah, you made it. Much better. Head was fogging up something awful. No offence, but I hate crossing over. Uh, if I'm being honest, I wasn't sure you'd cross. I'd been starting to lose hope. Seems like it's on short supply everywhere these days. Welcome to The Hollow. It's seen better days, I'm afraid. That's kind of why you're here. Follow me. I'll clarify. Okay, right. So we're going to get an introduction to what's going on. Left shift to sprint. Aha. Normal stuff. Yeah, graphics are quite smooth. And I do like the art style. Space to jump. There we go. Normal stuff. Right. What's this? I brought you here at the request of an old friend, someone from your side of the hedge from way back. Probably best you, if you just heard from her directly, she left me this note. Right, we have a note from Sarah Howe. Um, find someone new. Dear Wise Crow, I know how to help you in the drakes. I need you to find a warrior, strong of will and body, sensitive to animals. Look for them when the hedge is thin. Bring them to finish what I am too frail to accomplish. They must work with the drakes to build their power and seek out my effects. Hidden from the Terminer. Find them. It's the only way to save the hollow. Yours, Sarah Howe. Okay, the plot thickens. So here we are. You've got that youthful vigour we need. The hedge was thin. And as evidenced by this here conversation, you got the gift of animal whispering. Come on, I've got something I'd like you to try. And some folks I think you should meet. Okay. So this game is available on Steam. This is where I'm running it from today. As I say, the, the producer of the game was kind enough to send me a key um, to show the game off to people, I guess. But as I say, this was months ago. It's had some updates since. Um, so it is, it's not early access. It is a, a fully available game, but obviously they're releasing extra bits for it, I believe, along the way. Graphics and playstyle remind you of Concrete Genie. I don't know that. Oh, I have a cat. Loki. You're going to come and join me? No, he's just staring at me. Right, we've got a compass at the top. Uh, which is nice. I like games with inbuilt compasses because I get lost so easily. And I guess the purple thing is telling me where the crow is. Is it? Yeah, it looks like it's telling me where the crow is. Right, so the crow's flown off. Ah, and we have an exclamate. We have a yellow exclamation mark. I wonder what that could be. <laughs> What was the first game to use exclamation marks for quests? Was it World of Warcraft? What have you missed? Uh, me wandering around, just getting the basics of the game. Haven't really started playing yet. So we're going to talk to the crow. Uh, now that we've had a little nature hike, it's time to get to work. Okay. I've got a little theory about you. Want to test it out. See if I really did choose the right person for the job. I think there's more to you than you realise. Best see for yourself. That pile of crystals over there, get up close. Attune your mind on waking them. See what happens. Okay. So we have a quest to awaken the shrine. Yeah, it's kind of like a story tutorial type thing. It seems to be. Hold E to focus. Okay. Seems to be working. There's 
this little fella? Oh, another one. Well, these are very cute. Oh, that's not cute. Right, there is a stick floating in the air in front of me. A wobbly stick. A crude wobbly stick, 11 DPS. Okay. Press 1 to select melee weapon. Right, I'm carrying a wobbly stick. <laughs> okay. And now do we have to go and hit something? Right, here we go. So there's obviously a bit of combat in this game. I don't know who these things are. I'm hoping the combat isn't a big part of the game. Oh, doing very well, aren't I? But again, this is nice. Yeah, it's a really nicely presented game. Right, a uh, new quest, visit the Wise Crow. So we've got a glowing shard. Let's pick that up. Where's the Wise Crow gone? There. Talk to the Wise Crow. You've met our esteemed allies, the Drake, and vanquished a pack of pesky feral. Not too bad, kid. The Drakes are a companionable lot. Kind souls, unfortunately, they've had a rough go. Ain't what they used to be. Invaders. Those terminers the note mentioned made a real mess of things, so they're a little skittish around newcomers with a penchant for brawling. You're going to need to do some legwork to earn their trust. The drakes are plenty hungry and thirsty, hibernating so long. Unfortunately, land's no good. Everything that comes from the ground is blighted, inedible. You're going to need to cleanse things for them to eat. You look like the crafty sort, though. Remember that attunement. Remember that attunement business with the crystals. That there, that right there is your gift. With a little focus, you can let the drakes know uh, what you need built, and they'll hop to it. Gather up some lumber and build a cleansing cauldron. Check back with me once it's built, and I'll tell you how to use it. Take a couple of glowstone shards to get you started. You'll need them to build the cauldron. Right, okay. And a healing salve. It's the only one I got, but if you're going to be scrapping with those grunts, you're going to need it. Uh, you'll learn how to make more soon enough if you use that one. Right, okay, so we've got a healing salve and a glowstone shard. We have a quest to build a cleansing cauldron. We need to chop a tree, collect lumber, and build the cleansing cauldron. Right. Down in the bottom left, it looks like we have one for the thing, three for the something or other, and Q for hold. Whatever that is, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> walk softly but carry a big stick. Yes. Right, so how are we going to chop down a tree... What's this? Oh, another glowstone shard. Yeah. How are we going to chop down a tree with a wobbly stick? Now, there's, uh, there's an exclamation mark there. Okay. I'm just looking at the things on the compass. There's an exclamation mark on there. And it looks like the range is this. It looks like this is an exclamation mark. Use the depot. Oh, you can drop stuff in. Right, well, let's drop these blight rooms in. Because I don't think we need them at the moment. But we'll keep the glowstone shards and we'll keep the healing salves. Okay. Right. So there's our depot. Right. Anybody get any suggestions on how I chop down a tree with a wooden pointy stick? I'm just looking at what's in the top left as well. Maybe that's XP or something. Oh yeah, so I'm chopping down a tree with a wooden stick. It's a bit weird, but anyway. We collect some lumber and we've got some twigs. Right, okay, let's chop down another tree. Oh, what's this? Bane berries. Yeah, let's have these. Nom, 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 nom. Right. Can chop this down as well. So we need to collect three, uh, two more lumber. Might try this later on. Going outside in the real world and chopping down a tree with a pointy stick. Clearly. Clearly it works. Right, C to enter build mode. Well, where are we going to build it? Oh, here we go, crafting. Right, so. Uh, Q and E select structure. You can select from the available structures to build. 
Okay, so this is the cauldron. It's going to use five lumber and I have six, and it's going to use two glowing shards and I have three. Okay. Uh, left shift, and that will rotate it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just build it. Let's build it here. Here we go. Bit of pointed metal on that stick and you'd have yourself an axe. I would. Where's the cheeseburgers? I don't know. Where are the cheeseburgers? Making me hungry. Right, so this is a cleansing cauldron. Which we're going to need to heal the land because the land is blighted so that we can grow some stuff. Right, we need to visit the wise crow. Hello, wise crow. Nice work, kid. I knew you had it in you. Uh, now, for the most important part, using the cauldron. You're going to need to investigate this island a bit for a couple of things. Juice boxes and bane berries. Get at least four of each, walk up to the cauldron and toss them in. Soon the berries and juice will be cleansed and the drakes can chow down. Knowing they've got a meal waiting should show them that you're not looking to do them harm. Right. Now, we already found some bane berries. And there's some more here. So we're exploring and we're looking for some juice boxes. What's this? It's a bin. Can we get in it? No, I'm pressing E. It's not working. Okay, let's have a look over here. Now, what are these? Cattails. Let's have some of them. Right, so anything that's got like a line above it with a, a bag icon, that means you can collect it. That's, that's nice. I do like these games which give you visual hints. Aha, this is new. The Yarrow. Let's have some of them. I'm just going around and harvesting everything. Because you never know when you might need it. But we are looking for some juice boxes. Do we have a map? We don't have a map. I'm going to press M for map. We do have a map. Okay, there we go. So there is me. There is the camp. Oh, and there's all this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That's huge. <laughs> right. Okay. Can we cross over the water? I'm guessing not. Oh. Okay, so I, I, I did... I lost some health or something or other, and something came up, but I was nervous and didn't want to read it. I was rushing. Something about Easter or something or other? I don't know what it was, but we've got an icon on the right-hand side. What's that? Looks like a daytime marker. Well, I'm enjoying just wandering around. We seem to have two males as well. There's a male icon on the left-hand side that's um, flashing at me. Anybody seen a juice box anywhere? No, we've got some more cattails. Something around here. Oh. Yeah, so what is that bit in the top left? Is it experience or is it is it health or something? It's probably health. Yeah, it looks like a heart. It looks like a crystal heart. Right, still looking for a juice box. Oh, found a car. Oh, we've got some... Yeah, I can't open this. Maybe you can hit it. Ah, oh, you hit it! Right, okay, so I should have hit that bin earlier on. So you hit things and open them. There we go. What's come out? Blunderbuss shot. And shoelace. Just what I always wanted. Yeah, still looking for a juice box. <laughs> oh, there's a house up there. Got there. Car. 
bars. Hit them with my wooden stick. Oh, like a lighthouse. Yeah, really, really nice graphics in this game. I'm liking this. Ah, got a juice box. There must have been one inside here. An upholstery scrap. Another juice box. So when it says juice box, it is literally... There we go, we got four. Uh, yeah, it's literally a can of juice or something. Right. Um, so we need to stock the cauldron. Let's go back to where the cauldron is, which is straight ahead. Or is it? Have I got lost already? There it is. Okay. Right, so cauldron is on the other side. <clears throat> so we're going to stock the cauldron. The, the cleansing cauldron transforms bane berries, blight shrooms, and juice boxes into food and water for the drakes. Right. Okay. So stock the cauldron. Here we go. These cute little things come out and eat it. found woodcutter 30% crit environment camp xp what <laughs> i don't know we've done something good who's let found lucky 20% extra item drops okay. don't know what any of that stuff is but now we have more stuff appearing right so uh drake supplies food water and happiness i guess Entertainment, yeah, food, water, and entertainment. So they've got 12 food, don't have any water, and entertainment, five. I don't know whether that's any good. Amount stockpiled, right? And then, okay, resource management. Uh, are they the little creatures? Yes, the drakes are the little creatures. And we've got to stock the cauldron to feed them and make them happy. Okay, so we have eight water, and it was going up. We have eight food, and it was going up. And the entertainment was eight, and is going down. And we now we need to visit the wise crow again. Can we stock the cauldron with any more stuff? No. Right, I need to put the blight shrooms in. Let's do that. So let's take out uh, 17 blight shrooms. Okay. And let's add them into here. There you go. So 16 blight rooms and one bane berry added. Right, so it's full of that, full of that. Okay, sorted. Right, let's go and speak to the crow. Where's the crow gone? There is the crow. The drakes weren't always like this. Their hearts are the same, but their minds aren't. Since, uh, not since the Terminer came along and twisted the magic of this place to their will. With your help, we can restore the drakes, even send you home once they get their magic back. But before we go off saving the world, we better finish tending to the drakes' basic needs. The drakes don't just need food and water, they're going to need a place to sleep. Also, these folks can literally die of boredom. You're proving to be pretty crafty. I think you can help them with sleeping spots and entertainment. Why don't you try building the drakes a couple of thatched beds and poppets, okay? You can get everything you need for thatched beds from trees, and as for poppets, Look along the shorelines for cattails and beat up some cars for upholstery, which I've already done. Okay, here we go then. Drake sleep and entertainment. So leave thatched beds and poppets around to prevent drakes from dying of boredom or exhaustion until you can build a more permanent structures. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and without a place to sleep, Drake will return to hibernation. Make sure there's always enough beds or you'll see your population plummet. Right, where is my population then? I don't actually know where the population is. But anyway, we're going to go here, and we're going to go to the crafting menu, which was... What was the crafting menu? C? C was the crafting menu. Here we go. What was it? 
charms provide the ne magic necessary to produce curios and camp improvements. Interact with drakes to collect charms. Happy drakes produce more charms. Okay, so we are crafting. Uh, and how do I... Okay, don't know what that is. Unlock the one piece of paper. We don't have any pieces of paper. I want to go down to furniture. Hmm. Okay. Right. So Q and E is going left and right in there. I want to go down to the next, the next one down, but I can't move my mouse around. Um, tab. No, that's curio crafting. Yeah, this is a whole part of the game we've not seen yet. Um, I don't know. I thought it was C to craft. Yeah, I don't know how I select furniture. What have I missed? Anybody know? W and E is doing that. That is doing that. That is doing that. Yeah, don't give them Monopoly. <laughs> You're right. I'm a bit stuck here. I'm going to try and unlock this to see what happens. Find more schematics hidden in the world to unlock additional improvements. Right, I can't do that. But I need to get down. There you go. Scrolling. Scrolling with the mouse wheel. So, furniture. Thatched bed. We need five charms to build a thatched bed. Entertainment. We need five charms. So, I'm going to have to interact with the drakes to get some charms off them. Oi, come back. Ah, right, that was the characters. Whose look was the name of a character? Right, okay. So, uh, I think I just got 14 charms from him. Oh, so cute. Right, that was a buff. So I've got 20% extra item drops, I guess. Right, so these are the two people I have living with me. Okay. Now do we have enough to build a bed? So what was it? Uh, C for crafting. Scroll down. Yes. So thatched bed. Let's put a thatched bed. Uh, let's put it over here. Can you build it out in the trees? You can. But no, I'm just going to put it here. Okay. Now, will they come along and attack it? Uh, no, no, not attack it. Build it. I think they're coming along to build it. Yes. There you go. Right. Thatch beds last for one night. Is that all? Right. Entertainment. Let's have a poppet. Poppets immediately add two entertainment and soon fall apart. Right. Okay. So, we're going to have to chop down some more trees. Get my magical bit of wood. I hope these trees respawn. Because otherwise... Oh, hello! Probably don't have any charms, do you? I don't know, 12 charms collected. Right, so they seem to have... I don't know how you can see how many charms they've got. But I got 14 last... Oh, he's collecting stuff. Oh, so they're actually collecting stuff for me. Oh, that's quite handy. Anyway, we need to build two thatched beds and two poppets. So there was one thatched bed. Have we got enough to build another one? We do. Let's build another one there. And have we got enough to build another poppet? We do. I'll build a poppet there. Right, okay, that's two of each. Let's go speak to the wise crow again. Not happy about them only lasting one night. Okay, look at that, they grow up so fast. A 
just in the E key, nothing's happening. So, as you may have realised, supplies on this island are a bit limited, yes. So, about that situation, as maybe you've figured out, you're a little trapped on this island. Fear not, as you will also most likely surmise, this isn't an unfixable situation. Like most problems in the hollow, you can build your way out of this one. Take this schematic, you can use it to unlock the ancient and arcane art of building a curio workshop. Go ahead, try building one. You're going to have to if you ever want to get out of this place. Okay, so we are building... Shoeless, schematic. We're going to build an ether ward. Uh, and then we're going to build a simple curio workshop. So, where are we going to build the Curio Workshop? Let's build it here, because it looks like we've already got enough lumber. Is that that? We can unlock that. Yes, yeah, you have one schematic. Spend one schematic to unlock the simple Curio Workshop. Yes. Right, we need four more charms. So let's go and talk to these guys. Hello. Fifteen charms collected. And he's got a buff. Sure, let's have the buff. Oh no, we'd have to remove Lucky. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. Schematic is a piece of paper. Yes. <laughs> right, so. What am I doing here? I'm building a Curio Workshop. And it's going to go... Here. So we have a level 1 camp. The improvement budget is 2 out of 10. Okay, so we've done that. Now we'll... No, that's a cauldron. Did I build the wrong thing? I think I just built the wrong thing. I did. I just built the wrong thing. Oops. <laughs> right, undo, undo. How do, we, how do we get rid of that? Yeah, I've built two cauldrons. What an idiot. Right, okay. Let's go back into the crafting. There you go. Oh, I now need some more lumber. Right. Oops. Let's hit my big tree. So, what happens if you get two cauldrons? I guess nothing. Hello? So it just seems that I get loads of charms every time I speak to them, which is great. I'm not complaining. I just don't seem to understand how I'm getting all of these charms. Uh, right, so this time we're going to craft and we're going to craft the table. There you go. Actually, I'm making a face. There you go. Two eyes and a mouth. Totally intentional. Right, so we have built the simple Curio Workshop. And this is what we can do in it. It's used for R&D of new Curios, useful gadgets and knickknacks. Once you've unlocked a recipe here, you can always m make more anywhere from your build menu. Once you've unlocked a recipe here, you... Okay, right, so you can build anything anywhere. Ether Ward times three. A powerful ward that protects you against the ill effects of the ether exposure, which is what I got, I think, when I walked through the, um, the water. So we need... Glowstone shards and shoelaces, which we have. How many? One. Okay. And an apparition charm. We can build one of those. Right. Let's visit the crow again. Let's find out what we're doing. The good feeling I had about you keeps getting better. I'm sorry to drag you into all of this, but things have gotten pretty desperate. Uh, there's still drakes out there who need your help. Climb that lighthouse up north and take a look-see. Keep an eye out for hibernating drakes along the way, and grab any schematics you may find. Come back and talk to me once you've explored around there a bit. Okay, off we go. So, yes, nice cauldrons. Thank you, Jill. <clears throat> but, uh, yes, I have two of them, and uh, I don't know how you get rid of one of them. But, <laughs> never mind. Um, now, their water is low. Yeah, the water is going down. The water is nine and going down. What was the water? Ooh. 
Yeah, I can't remember what the water was. Because you've got the mushrooms, which is the middle one. Um, yeah, I can't remember how you get the water for them. Anyway, we're going to go up to the lighthouse, which was... Where was the lighthouse? I think it said north, didn't it? Uh, I can't see it on this map, unless it's there. That might be the lighthouse. And northwest, which is up there. I don't know. Not go through the water again. Let's inspect. Okay, so inspect is basically just field of view, it seems. Uh, and I can now build. Right, how? I thought I could build. Oh yeah, curio crafting. It's it's build and then curio crafting. That's it. So I can build one of these now, wherever I am. Okay. Juice boxes for water. That was it. Yes. Thank you. I've forgotten that. So I'm still discovering the game, I'm still learning it, I don't really know what we're doing yet. We're definitely still in the tutorial part of the game. Um, but I'm really enjoying it, it is nice, it's nice to play. Got an arrow. Uh, the graphics are smooth, the graphics look nice. Uh, and I, I do like crafting games, uh, which is obviously what turned me on to this when it first came out. It's definitely got crafting in it. How do we get up there? Oops. Okay, so there's the lighthouse. Let's just have a look at the map. Right, yeah. So we're going to have to use this ether ward. How do I activate it? There is the question. Where's my equipment? High for inventory? Yeah. So this is an ether ward. I don't want to drop it, I want to take it. Active quest help messages. Ah, right, okay, so here was the thing. Camp stockpiles, sleep and entertainment, charms. Okay, right, so. How do I take one of these? I don't know. Because that down there is a healing potion where it says in the bottom left, you can't see because I, I, I'm in the way. So bear with us a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to move me to here. Okay, there you go. I've moved me. So you can actually see in the bottom left. Um, and I need to make the chat a bit smaller. Oh gosh, I can't hardly see that now. <laughs> there you go. Uh, you can see that one is my... Um, my wooden stick. Three, I think, is the healing potion. But I don't know how I activate this ether ward. I've definitely got some. Because I, I have three in my inventory. But I don't know how I activate them. If anybody knows, let me know. Because if I step in, I'm just going to start taking damage. Two is arrows. Ah! Right, I've just pressed three. There we go, so you can toggle. So one is your weapons, two is your ranged weapons, three is something. Four, no, four isn't working. Right, I've toggled my inventory slot and we need to take some and then rush over there. Okay, so I'm gonna take one. There we go, and then let's run. Nice. I am protected. Thatcher Island. And there we go. I got there. Let's hit the toilet. Found an arrow. Okay. So let's head up to the lighthouse. See what's there. Oh, what's that? Oh! Got it. Or did it drop? It dropped. A kyanite shard. Shard. Ooh, are these? 
Skull cap. Oh, and another toilet. Why is the toilet lying around everywhere? It's just an upholstery strap. Scrap. I can't speak today. Right, what's this? Is that a schematic? Well, we're hitting it and we got we got six stuff. Who knows what stuff we got? Juice box. Read the page. Uh, a note from Sarah Howe. I know not where I am, but I know who I was. My name is Sarah Howe, midwife's apprentice, a daughter and sister, dutiful to my lord. I lay down my life story here as, a pl as plain as I can for whoever, whosoever should find it. I write lest. I think my old life was a dream. I swear this account to be true. Okay. Oh, a nail gun. We've got a nail gun. Okay, so we can use a nail gun. Right. There we go. Shoot things at range. Oh, shiny object. Out here. And let's carry on to the top. Lose with views, yes. <laughs> so we found a schematic and a page to read. Uh, a page from the Journal of Noble Mason. Heretics be cursed. To date, five souls have come before our court, each accused by use of spectral evidence, questioned, then sent to the maker. Some call such means. Of inquiry severe but I say to thee if they will not confess in this life they shall do so in the next for who am I to begrudge their doomed the doomed to their fate okay right so more stuff to a weed sprayer you now when you're gonna need a weed sprayer or shoelaces or oh, hockey stick now that is better than what I've got, yes. Critical hit chance is down, but it is a lot better than the... Nice. <laughs> I love the way she attacks. And it's different each time. And a canoe oar. Is there still further up to go? Yeah, so we've got a canoe or hockey stick or a wobbly stick. Let's have the hockey stick. Right, we still need to investigate the top of the lighthouse, which is where? Is there a ladder? Aha, maybe we need to jump up here. Here we go. Right, so what's this? A schematic and some glowy thing. We're going to gaze into the lighthouse. Nice. Hibernating Drake's found. Right, okay, so we are here on Thatcher Island. Where are the hibernating drakes? What's that? Camp Mystic. Okay, so he's telling us what's on the island. Ah, that's good. Right. Yeah, it gives you a list of what items there are on the island. Hibernating Drake. So somewhere in this area there is a hibernating Drake. Okay. Back down we go. Oh, we need to defeat the raid. What raid? A raid going on. Uh, 
I guess there is. Yeah, it says incoming raid. Okay, I best get back home quick. Pick up some of these just on the way. Right, so we need to take some of the... Uh, not the healing salve. We need to take that and then rush back. That's really nice graphically. I like that, the way that it pushes everything away. Yeah, they're raiding our camp. Outrageous. Oi, get off. That's my table. Took me ages to build that. And I built the wrong thing. Uh, we can stop the cauldron. Oi. Multiplayer now available for this round. Uh, for this realm. Okay, right. Oh, let's speak to this little guy. Give him a crystal to level it up. Sure. Let's give him a, a kyanite shard. Is that it? Four more crystals to adolescent. Right, okay. So you give them this. You get more health. Their buffs will improve and you'll get close to leveling. But they'll need more food water. Right, sure. Oh, he's so cute. Right. Obtain gift. Always give me a glowstone shard, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Right. Uh, I found a field jacket. Ooh. Can we wear it? Where is the field jacket? The... Or was it a recipe for a field jacket? Well, let's speak to the other guy. Right, so, what's going on now? We defeated the raid, which wasn't that difficult. You've proven it, no doubt. You've got what it takes. Here's what's going to happen. You're going to rebuild this place. Yep, that's what I'm doing. You find a schematic out there? If so, you can use it to get building. Once you build things up a bit, that should teach, that should catch the Terminator's eye, draw them out. You, the, you rebuild, take care of the Terminator, and that should snap the drakes out of their funk, get their magic back. Once that happens, they send you home, slim as that. Okay, so it looks like the game does have an ending, which is nice. I warned you that it might be a one-way trip, but I think you got this. Here's a little gift to get you started. Fire up this apparition charm if you need to scoot back to camp in a rush. Okay, so it's a teleport back, back home. Camp XP and level. Drakes raise your camp level. The higher the level, the more stuff you can build. Yeah. Find them in the wilderness or raise their age with crystals. Yeah. Older drakes contribute more camp XP than younger ones, but we know need feeding more. Right. Tom is here. Hi, Tom. Got some bold eyeshadow. Yep. Yes, it has, hasn't it? <laughs> right. Okay. So, uh, right. We've got to reach camp level four, and we are currently camp level one. So, to build a village, we need to build a yoga ball, a well, and a bed. Okay. Let's go around hitting some more stuff. Oh, <laughs> love that. Whacked him with a hockey stick. Right, so there can be bad things inside sometimes. Okay, right, so what do we need to build a yoga ball? Crafting menu. Go down. Ah, oh, it's none there, so it must be a curio. Right, so uh, it's not. Okay. So I'm not sure how we build a yoga ball well and better. Now it did say that you will be able to build more stuff once your camp level improves. And our camp level is only one. So how do we improve our camp? Don't build another cauldron. Yes, don't build another cauldron pull. <laughs> um, so I think, yeah, how do I up my camp level? 
Because we've already built all of this stuff. I don't really want to build any more of this stuff. But the improvement budget is 3 out of 10. Let's look at the help. Where was the help? Where was the help? It was... No, is it I log help? Camp level. Camp level is based on how much camp XP you've amassed. Camp XP comes from drakes. The older they are, the more they contribute. So are they just... Contribute? You, you must find drakes hibernating in the wilderness or increase the age of the drakes. Right, okay. So I don't know how our camp level is three. But we do know that there's a hibernating drake in here somewhere. But let's go and find that. Uh, which was this way. And we'll just pick up some more stuff on the way. So yes, over on that island over here. Do you need to find the hibernating drake? Yes, I think so. And we know there's one here. So I might just um I might just risk this. I'm going to take some damage, but I want to see what happens. Where is that damage being taken? Okay, there you go, I died. <laughs> so we will uh, we will spirit walk back to our body. See, I was looking for a health bar, and I couldn't see the health bar going down. Um, there you go. So we're going to spirit walk back to our body. So yeah, what is that in the top left? Because if that isn't health, then what is it? Very cool. Like that. Yeah, like that a lot. Um, there was a counter in the middle that went down. Right, okay. I missed it. I was um, panicking too much. So there's a hibernating drake somewhere around here. So do we just need to find it? Nice, I can one-shot these now with a hockey stick. this. Yeah, it's a shopping trolley. Okay, that was ten, like, stone bricks or something. So yeah, I'm just going to wander around. Health seemed to be top left was flashing red. Yeah, I'm not sure. I might just have to do it again. You know, scientific experiments and all. Right, where is this hibernating drake? Anybody seen anything? I mean, is it, is it somewhere within that area? Or is it right in the middle of that area? Did we miss it earlier? Oh! Oh no, this is the house where we were earlier. Aha! What's this? This looks like a hibernating drake. Wake him up. Hello. Right, so this is Totor, who's an infant. Uh, electric, three lightning damage. Uh, add lightning damage to attacks. No, let, let's. we don't need to obtain that buff. But let's do it anyway. No, I don't want to remove Lucky. I want to keep my lucky one. 
So, there you go. Camp XP increase. Right, now I've got 30 XP. So I think it must be 10 XP per, per Drake. How do we get to level 4 though? That's going to take ages. <laughs> now, can we jump down here and not die? Yes, we can. Right, is Total going to go home? That is the question. Right, so we're going to pop in here and we're just going to look for this bar. Right, I didn't see a bar appearing. And I didn't see any change in the top left. Do it again. Yeah, nothing's... The numbers were flashing up. But nothing was actually changing. Right, okay, so... I, I guess we're going to have to explore again. Um... So we need to go northwest. Yeah, we need to go to this island here. So we're going to have to take ourselves another uh, another one of these ether wards. Get over to this island. Here we go. Gas on the go. New location. Now we don't have any more of those. So we need to, yeah, we need to craft more. Uh, yeah, and we can craft some. So, there you go, three more have been crafted. Nice. There is a timer in the middle of the screen. Oh, it's a timer, is it? Right, that's what it was. It's the timer before you die. I was looking for a bar that was going down. Okay, thank you. More toilet to bash. Now, now that we've explored this island, or have we? Oops. Ah, oh, that's a level 3 grunt. Gone. Juice box. How's the camp doing? It's got... Six, yeah, it's fine. It's got, it's got enough stuff now. We don't have to keep rushing back every five minutes. high-pitched beeping noise because I've got the window slightly open and something is beeping outside and I don't know what it is. Something here. So I was hoping we'd find a way that we can see if there's any um, things on the island. But nothing's coming up. Where's the lighthouse? We climbed onto the lighthouse and it actually then told us that there was a hibernating drake there. But here, there's nothing telling us. Come on. Oh, there's a quicken. There you go, got him. Jump up the barrels. Um, I might have to close the window if that beeping continues. Let me know if you can hear it. Hopefully you can't, but it's a very high-pitched beeping noise coming from outside. Yeah, sounds like somebody's alarm's going off or something. going to take a while for our camp XP to, to get up, isn't it? There we go. But now that we're up here, can we actually see anything or do anything? No. Okay. So I guess we just need to keep... Oh, here we go. Here's the hibernating drakes. We can actually see where they are on this map already. And the beeping stopped outside. Right, okay, so we're going to go north. Yes, north to this big island here, with where the factory is. Uh, so what was it? 
Ether Ward, Healing Salve, or the Apparition Charm. So Ether Ward. Yeah, I love the way that that is parting the water. Right, there's an Ether Infestation here of 10. But it was zero on the other places. Dealing with Ether. Right, it will spread and cover an island, disrupting supply networks if not cleared. Fully clear an island to make sure your supply network remains functional. Ooh, okay. So what's that? Is that the ether? Yeah, okay. There you go. It's basically, there's nine of those more on this island for me to get rid of. Like a glowy, light, bluey, greeny stuff. Like that, for example. Oh, that looks big. Oops. Oh, press the middle button to block. Nice. Alright, nasty big thing. Yeah, so that in the top left is my health. Which is different from the... Um, what am I thinking of? Diff different from the stuff that you take from walking through the ether. Cabbage seed. Gonna need that later, I guess. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're, we're probably gonna die here, aren't we? I mean, look at them all! <laughs> yeah. So let... I mean, we could revive at camp or spirit walk to body. Let spirit walk to body. Because... We want to continue from where we left off. Yeah, that's quite a lot of gribblies there, wasn't it? We do have a nail gun. Maybe I should have used my nail gun. Yeah, what does the nail gun do? I, th I think we might have... I mean, there were too many of them. How are we doing for time today, anyway? Skip that island, yeah, possibly. Um, yeah, I don't have a clock near me. I've got two computer screens, but the clock isn't on any of them. I was going to play for about an hour and a half today. Uh, maybe two hours, because I'm almost set up for the for the next stream uh, after this one, which is Lord of the Rings Journey to Middle Earth. So shouldn't need too long to switch between the two. Right, here we go. So you go here. Revive. And this is nice. You actually carry your body somewhere and you can revive them just a little bit away. So let's revive here. There we go. There's the nail gun. Okay. Nice. These bad guys are quite cool. No ammo. Oh god. <laughs> there you go. Did we do it? Have we cleared it out? I think we have. Oh no, there's still more. Close to death. Now I do have a, I do have a thingy, don't I? I have a healing salve. Yeah. There we go. Fine. 
keep spawning new ones. Did I get it? I think I did. Am I dead? I'm dead again. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, this is, this is a tough island, this one. <laughs> Suddenly the difficulty has really ramped up. Uh, Adam's here, he's downloaded it but not played it. No problem. Let me know if you get on with it and play it okay. It's 10 past 12 UK time, thank you. So I've been playing for one hour, 10 minutes. Yeah, I got, I got a bit more. I'm still just discovering the start of it. Suddenly the difficulty massively ramped up in this place. So far it's been, you know, nice and pleasant and a nice tutorial and going through it. And then all of a sudden it was like, right, now you need to get to level four. How do you get to level four? That seems a really big jump. Not just get to level two. So the two ways we can level up the camp are we get more drakes or we level up our existing drakes. But to do that, we need to find more crystals. And I don't know if I've been collecting that many more crystals. I'll have to see. So I might have loads and loads of crystals and just be missing it. This us. This is us. Right, we'll come back here. There we go. Right, did I get rid of that fang that kept spawning new things? I think I did. Oh, a lacrosse stick. That might be even better. But no time to change weapons. Blocking. Right, let's have a look at our new weapon. So we could switch to lacrosse stick. Yep, let's go for that one. Right, is there anything left in here? Okay, so. It was just full of bad guys. Strong man hammer. And a rake. Melee weapons at capacity. Right, okay, so we've got a few different melee weapons. We can probably drop. Um, and the hockey stick is down to 41% durability. We can probably drop the wobbly stick. Have I dropped the wobbly stick or have I dropped something else? I think I dropped something else. Or is that another wobbly stick? Looks like I've got two wobbly sticks. Hang on. There we go. Drop the two wobbly sticks. Didn't realise I had two wobbly sticks. And we've now got a rake. And a wobbly stick. Okay. Yep, two wobbly sticks. I didn't realise. Um, so yeah, let's drop the other wobbly stick. There we go. Right. And we need to equip the rake. Nice. <laughs> Going around with the garden rake. So, anyway, we were here on this island. There's probably loads of stuff till, still to find on here. The infestation level is nine. So we've still got lots of nasty gribblies to get rid of here. Yeah, this is quite a big island, isn't it? Can we get up, Ski? Yes! Now we get up. Nice. And then where do we go? How do we get in here? I guess just go through the window. Okay. Nope, there's nothing here. I want to get on the roof if I can. Go on. Why can't I jump through the window? There we go. Right. So, can we get on the roof? I'm going to try and walk along the ledge. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> oh well, I didn't take any damage. 
So yeah, I don't know if there is anything more in here. He says, finding some pills in here. Okay. Oh, chat's just died. Uh, let's get the chat back on. Let's just check the other chat, see if, see if this other chat is working. No, the other chat is not working. Right, let's refresh this one again. It lasted for about 45 minutes. That was pretty good. There we go. We are back. Right. Up the stairs. There's pizza. Let's have a look at up the stairs. I picked up a blunderbuss. I did. So we've now got a nail gun, a blunderbuss, and a weed sprayer. So we've actually got 10 bullets for the blunderbuss. So there we go. I now have a ranged weapon. Ah, up the stairs. Into the roof. Anything here? More stairs. Here we go, on the roof. Oh, duct tape. Oh, and a nasty thing. And a tiger eye shard. So we can use that to level up our griblets. How are they doing? Food? Uh, six water, 13 food, and eight happiness. Or entertainment, it was, wasn't it? Right, okay, so very little on the roof after all of that. Didn't quite die. <clears throat> Almost did, because the two bombs went off near me. But, whew. Right, okay. So. What what are we doing? That is the question. We're looking for a fourth break, aren't we? And there isn't one here. The nearest drake is all the way up here. That's quite a way away. Maybe we should try and clear the, some of the infestation here. There's notes one. Hmm. So it's still showing me that there's lots of items on the island, I guess. Kenneth's here. Hi, Kenneth. Thank you for joining in. Uh, okay, so the things on the map. Is the line in the distance a hibernating drake? A line in the distance? Oh, that one there. No, I think that's where our quest is. Because it's pointing down here. It's our camp. It's pointing to our camp. Because that is our quest, is to build all of that stuff. So that's pointing back home. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to wander around this island a bit more. And then I'll head back to camp and see what's going on. Because I do have... I. Th I Let's just get rid of this first. There we go. I think I've got... Oh, seeds. Drake provisions. Right, okay. So this is nice that it itemises it. We need some more juice boxes. We need some more mushrooms. Crafting materials. Crystals, yeah. We've got one of those. We've got one tiger's eye shard and four jade shard. And our drakes might want them. Oh, there's a raid. Ah, right. Okay, so we need to... We need to head back anyway. Okay, so which way was home? Well, we've got 10 minutes to go back. So, okay, let's wander around a little bit more, but I'll keep an eye on that, that raid timer. More duct tape. You never have enough duct tape motto that I live my life by. Is that an infestation? Yeah, that's an infestation. Use your apparition to let it teleport. Yeah, I could. Oh, um, but I've got 10 minutes or nine minutes now, so I've got plenty of time. So is this the same one? Yes, it is. It's just another part of the same island. Got 
going around beating up old cars. And I, I, one thing that frustrates me in games is the um, encumbrance item limits. This game seems quite good. You can have 250 items in your pack. Um, just, you know, I know it's a part of the game, but inventory management, some games are really restrictive on the inventory management. And it's just, as somebody who doesn't like to throw things away, it's just one of those things that really annoys me in games. Now, I'm really low on health. But it's fine, because if I die, I'll just respawn at the camp anyway. How's the infestation level doing? I think we've dropped it down a bit. Yeah, it's a shame that there isn't any way of marking where the infestation is, because I'm literally just walking around looking for it. Toilets. More cabbage seeds. I guess we're going to have to plant some plants at some point. And I like farming games as well. So, games where you plant stuff and it grows. I like that kind of thing. How are we doing? Six minutes for the raid. Seven minutes for the raid. But we're okay. And I've just seen some more um, infestation on the other side. Down there. Right, there you go. Ether level is down to five on this island. Here's another one. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, we can go further and then use the teleport to go back home immediately. Yeah. Absolutely could do that. Kind of not finished on this island, though. <laughs> Where is the rest of the infestation? Oh, that was something that I hadn't picked up. Here we go, here's one more. Three left. But yeah, is there any way of zooming in on the map so you can actually see? No, you can't, okay. Oh, hang on a minute. There was something there. There was outfit. Because didn't I find a... Okay. This is just cosmetic, isn't it? Could have a Christmas hat on. <laughs> right, yeah, okay. So I think it might have just been cosmetic. I don't think that's making any difference. Okay, apart from visually. Right, how are we doing? Five minutes left. Let's have a bit of more of a look around for more infestations. I get the feeling I'm just kind of going over the same places here, wandering around in circles. where we started. There's a thing there saying 20 that way. What is that? Is that just to the middle of the building? Or is it something special? because we've been in here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, wobbly sticks. We don't want wobbly sticks. Okay, raid is in four minutes. I think it's time to start heading back home.
we go. I'm getting used to this now. Oh, we can probably get all the way across. Or can we? Ooh, maybe not. Okay, are we going to take some damage? Yeah, we're not going to make it, are we? <laughs> Try to be clever there. Uh, is this another island? Have I actually gone to the wrong place? I think I might have gone to the wrong place. Oh no, it's just that Gribbly's come back. This is Thatcher Island. We've been here. So yeah, they've respawned. Which is fine because it's dropping shards. Which is good. Right, so uh, I'm going to have to craft some more ether wards in order to get over here. Ah, it's changing it. Right, there we go. Two minutes left before the raid. Since we're back here, we can talk to our drakes and get healing. Yeah, 15 charms collected, health restored. We'll give it a crystal. We'll give it a malachite shard. Did it do it? Confirm crystal. There you go, mate. Some of that. Uh, now he's got this thing above him. Obtain gift. What's he got for us? Oh, thank you. He's got a glowstone shard. Right. <clears throat> That's that done. Uh, let's go and speak to another one. Get some charms off that. <clears throat> Three charms. Health restored. He doesn't have a gift for me. We can't give him anything. Okay. Oh, right, so the health restored didn't actually restore us to full health. Yeah, it only restored... Ah, oh, they're exhausted. They need somewhere to sleep. Right, I'm going to have to build more beds, aren't I? Give Crystal. Yeah, give him four jade shards. There you go. He's almost at level two, that one. Okay, so, our camp is still only level one. Um, so yeah, we could just build some beds temporarily. And a bit of entertainment. Okay, just temporarily. Incoming raid. My health is not looking good. Okay. Why are they not sleeping? They've got beds. Oh, we're going to get one levelled up. There you go. Ten minutes in, still idea, no idea what this game's about. Yes. <laughs> I'm sort of getting the hang of it. We're trying to look after these drakes. Right, so this drake has now levelled up. It is now an adolescent. So it's going to give me more stuff. Woodcutter. Okay, so... Right, there you go. The camp has leveled up. So the camp is now level two. And we can now build these. Right, okay. And the camp budget has increased. I don't really know what the camp budget is. Right. I'm 
Tulur has advanced to adolescent. My health has increased. Okay, right, it's all good stuff. So now we're going to actually build a proper bed. Yes, so this is why we need the schematics. But we have three schematics, so we can unlock this. So we're going to unlock bed, and we can build a bed. Uh, it requires four lumber, four fabric, and 20 charms. Right, so let's build a nice bed here. And hopefully this doesn't fall apart after... After just one um, use. Oh, we need to restock the cauldron. Or the cauldrons. So I accidentally built two. There you go. Four juice boxes added, five blight rooms added, and twelve bainbreeze added. Right, they've got a bit more stuff. How are the beds coming along? There you go. Look at that, they've got little mailboxes as well. Oh, cute, he's crawling under the bed. <laughs> Lovely. Right, okay, so that's that done. Uh, we'll need another bed, yes. Now why is he still exhausted? You've got a bed. Go to sleep. I don't know, because surely they should use that. Anyway, next is we're building a well. Which is... Ah, yoga ball and well. Right, okay. So we're going to build... We're going to unlock that. And where are we going to build the well? Let's build the well over here. So the bit I don't understand is on the top left where it says improvement budget. 9 out of 20 and there's a purple bar with an orange bar. I don't know what that is. And it is changing depending on which of these I select. So yeah, don't know what that bar means. Uh, yes, so we're building the well and hopefully that's going to provide water for them instead of the cauldron, maybe? Let's see what it does. Does it do anything? Yeah, they're just going to the well and uh, they're having a wash. That's nice. And the water seems to be going down, is it? Let's hold him. Hello. Okay, and then if we build a, yo um, a yoga ball as well, where can we put the yoga ball? So there are these poppets here. I mean, surely they, they're all right with the poppets. So we're going to unlock the yoga ball and we'll put one here. Right, and that is the building a village quest completed. Right, so every drake needs a place to sleep. Wells provide enough water for three young drakes. And yoga balls have enough entertainment value to keep three young drakes happy. Right, okay. Uh, Brett is saying I've got 20 slots for stuff, stuff in your camp. Right, okay. And the orange is showing how much it would increase if you selected the building. I see. Okay, right. That makes sense. So it's not really a budget. Is it? Now we've got no we've got no schematics left, so we can't build anything else. Um, we can't learn anything else, but we could build another bed if we had more lumber and fabric. So we do need a third bed. I don't know what. Yeah, so these beds here don't seem to be doing anything. So yeah, this will be the lumber. Where we're we going to get the fabric from? I do not know. I mean, if everything respawns, then surely you can just stay on the, the main island and do stuff. 
Anyway, we need to talk to the crow. It's not come up with a quest, but the crow has got an exclamation mark. Look at you, building a regular downtown over here. Now it's time you learn something important about this place. Okay, more tutorial stuff. You and the drakes, everything good that lives here, it's all symbiotic. The more mature they get, the more their power will flow to you. Here's what you gotta do. Find some crystals out there in the wilderness. Yeah, I've been doing that. Use them to grow a drake. Yep, yeah, I'm ahead of you there. Each drake is hungry for a specific type of crystal. Make sure to match them up. Grow a drake with a crystal. I've already done that. <laughs> I've already done that. One of my drakes is already at an adolescent. I'm going to have to do it again. Oh. Right. What's happening with the water? Nothing. Okay. Right. So. Uh, off we go again then. I guess. Yeah. Right. So. The camp is level two. How do we how do we look at the XP that we need to increase it? Not sure. Is it here? Camp. Yeah, so here we go. Tulu is adolescent. Woodcutter, he wants jade. He need, he's taking up two hunger, two thirst and two boredom. Right, and he's giving 30 XP to the camp. Right, here we go, we got loads of stuff. So the cleansing cauldron here, this is what I want to get rid of. Can I get rid of it? Right, improvement budget, next camp level. There's loads of stuff here. So the workshop is 67% because it keeps getting hit. <coughs> cleansing well. <coughs> He's giving away, excuse me. The cleansing well is providing four water. The cleansing cauldron is providing four water and four food, but only if there's something in it. So yeah, I really would like to get rid of that. If anybody knows a way of, um, yeah, actually getting rid of stuff that you've already built, that would be good. So yeah, those temporary beds don't look like they're doing anything. Tech tree. Oh, right, okay, so yeah. We are level two, so these are the things we can build. We can't build level three yet, or level four. This is a really nicely put together game. They've done a really good job with this. Okay, right, I am going to Give the drakes. I thought I had some um, charms. I do. I've got fluorite, tiger eye, and malachite. Who wants malachite? Is it this one? Is it who's lit? No, he doesn't want malachite. Okay. Right, so yeah, we're just going to have to head out again. Fabric. Where, where do we get fabric from? Let's go back up to the house over here. See if anything has respawned here. No, you see it hasn't. Is it one of these games where you need to exit and come back in? Did we actually go up here? I don't think we did. No, we didn't. Candlestick. Yeah, I don't think we've been in here. Did we clear the infestation? We didn't clear the infestation, did we? We've got like four more. And it said something about your supply network. Quite a big place. TV. Oh, 
Oh, shiny object. So we're just going around and looting the place. <laughs> just smashing up the windows for no benefit whatsoever. Fabric is from shopping cart. Okay, thank you. So we're finding a lot of upholstery scrap, but I don't know what we can actually do with that. Oh, we found a scythe. Right, okay, so it's time to drop. Uh, okay, so these are all quite good. The core, the, the canoe ore is not that good. So we'll drop that. But we have found. Come on, pick it up. There you go, a scythe. I say it. Oh, maybe it's not so good. What have we got at the moment? Hockey stick, lacrosse stick. Yeah, we're using the rake at the moment. Okay, so the scythe's not as good. Ah, thought it was going to be good. Yeah, it's nice the fact that we've got um, a crafting game, whereas instead of going around and collecting like, you know, your normal crafting stuff, it's all shoelaces and <laughs> bits like that. Right, can we get up on the roof? Don't know if we can. But I think we've been in there. I think that is all now. Everything has been found. And yeah, I guess all of this items and stuff that we're finding is possibly procedurally generated or, or random loots. Um, and I don't know if you played this game. If you are, if you have played this game, or if you have got this game, load it up and let me know. Is this the same world, or is it as it randomly generated a world for me uh, to play? I mean, yeah, this is pretty big, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just curious to know if it is the same world for all players. Because the map looks quite detailed, so if it is randomly generated, that's pretty good. Alright, let's head back to the cauldrons and drop some stuff off. There we go. And let's use the depot, because you can drop off crafting supplies in the depot. I saw a button. Here we go. Deposit crystals, because we only need those here, and deposit crafting materials. There you go. The other thing I want to know is, can you repair these items? And I don't know whether you can or not. So at the moment, we're using the the crud hockey stick, which is 41% 40, durability. Um, and yeah, I don't know if... Um, Ah, the beds are finally gone. Right, okay. Noises outside. Um, what was I saying? I said something, 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 and then I said, and I don't know if, and then I forgot. I've lost my train of thought. Can't remember. Right, so we're going to go and find some more fabric. Yeah, the only way to get there safely is the here, isn't it? Because that, that would be quite a long way. Unless we had lots of those um, ether pushy back things. What's this info? Ah, oh, that's the settings that we've got on. Okay, cool. So, right, where are we going? We are going directly behind us. Go to the northwest. Let's find some more fabric. So, we need shopping carts. Couldn't James?
one of the things that I have with a lot of these games is once I start getting into them, I end up spending a lot of my time on the forums, uh, not the forums, but like the uh, fan Gamepedia pages with all of the hints and the tips and what you need to do in certain situations. Because, yeah, normally I get to the point where I'm, I enjoy it and then I just get really stuck and I can't work out what to do next or there's something that I'm confused about. And these fan put together like wiki pages are really useful. We're going to have to craft some more stuff. Apparently if you drop a weapon in a camp, a drake puts it in the depot and it gets repaired. Ah! That's handy to know, thank you very much. Yes, that is useful to know. But yeah, none of this stuff here is respawned. Oh, what were glowstones for? Glowstones were for building stuff, weren't they? going to have to craft some more. Oh, I've just seen all the infestation down there. In fact, let's, let's craft three of these because we're going to need a lot of these, aren't we? Yeah, there's the infestation. All the way down there. Alright, let's go for it. Oh, no, wrong one. Keep forgetting that it keeps changing from the ether ward to the apparition charm. Now, does the, is the apparition charm... I'm going to test this. I think the apparition charm is a permanent, permanent thing. I don't think it, it, it's used up. The teleport back home. Yeah, this is good. Found loads of them all down here. The ether level is now down to two. And one of them had a tiger's eye shard. But we currently don't have any drakes which require tiger's eye shard. So I've got two more, two more infestation things to find on this island. I think that's going to be my objective for today. Is to clear the rest of the infestation off this island. Can we get up here? Come on. No. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm just going to wander around now <laughs> until we find the infestation. Which is going to be a bit boring, but it's just going to be wandering around the island looking for it. Keep looking in. Shout if you see it. Because we don't know if it's on this side of the island or the other one over this here bridge. Let's have a look. Bad gribbly. Right behind the tree. Sneak up behind him. <laughs> nice. Uh, what was I doing? I was... Oh, there's two bridges. Right, here we go. I think this is it. This is this the last thing? <clears throat> there was just two left to find, wasn't there? Yep. Yeah. Right. Done. Island clear. So I don't know what that's done for me. 
Okay. Oh, it's given me some extra stuff, and it's given me a, it's given me a schematic, and it's given me some fancy stuff. Okay, happy with that. Wasn't too bad. I had visions of me walking around for like hours and hours and hours. Jonathan say it looks like Fortnite. It's definitely not Fortnite. It might look visually like Fortnite, but it it's definitely not. Not that I've played Fortnite, but yeah, it's not. It's quite cool. I like it. Sort of getting an idea of what we're supposed to be doing is just... Oh, we've got a raid coming in. Um, yeah, building up your base, looking after your drakes. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to be trying to teleport back home. The big bad guy. behind the tree thing again. It worked last night. Oh! Okay, got him. Uh, right, so how are we doing for health? We're doing alright for health. What's the point of marking that bit on the map? Kind of just here. I'm now at the zero point. Is that like the middle of the island or something? Yeah, I guess that's the exact middle of the island. Okay, so we're going to go here. We're going to go to the northwest to this island here, which is. It is over there. raid time, so we've got eight minutes. Eight minutes before the raid. Yeah, fonts in the art style. Yeah. No, I've not played Fortnite, but I have obviously heard of it, and I've seen pictures of it. What's this? What's this? Oh, it's a kyanite shard. Hopefully we can level up one of our um, breaks today. I mean, we've already done it once, but I didn't have a quest, so... Thing that spits bombs at me. And then it, it leaves these explodey bombs. This is a nasty thing. And then it spawns. Oh! Oh! Oh dear! This is really nice this one. I mean, it's only level two, but it's... <laughs> i tell you what, I've got a ranged weapon, haven't I? There you go. <laughs> that would have been much easier. I forgot I had my ranged weapon. Is that it? I think that's it. Right. Yes, use blunderbuss. Thank <laughs> you, James. Just remembered. Six minutes left on the raid. Can I hit it from there? No, I can't. So we're still looking for a shopping trolley so we can get some fabric so we can build a third bed which is what all of this is about
Oh, shopping trolley. Any fabric? Yes, seven. Oh, we got seven fabric now. Right, okay. Okay, well, a lot of this investigation was right down by the edge, so that's been quite easy to find. Five minutes left before the raid. And then we're just going to teleport back. And I'll see if that teleport that we've got is a permanent thing that you can just keep using. That would be nice, because that's another thing about these games which can be a bit boring and time consuming, is the amount of time that you just spend walking around. Which at this point I'm fine with, because I'm still just playing the game and I'm learning it. But once you've been playing the game for 15 hours, or whatever, just spending half your time just, you know, <laughs> walking from A to B, it's a bit painfully slow. Right, so we need to get in the middle somehow. Hmm. How do we get up there? Was there a way up that we didn't see? Is it here? Nope, don't think it is. Four minutes to the raid. Probably want to be heading back at... I don't know, I mean, if the teleport teleports us right back to the base straight away... Did I walk past a path in the middle? Is that this? Okay, let's go around again. Apparently I missed something. This? No, I think that's just a way through. Oh, there's a note. Let's have a read of the note. Uh, five moons have passed as I adjust to this new reality. If not for the bird, I doubt I would have lived past these first few days. The bird chatters as I forage this hollow land, finding what I need to eat and to heal the scratches I endured while running. But I hear voices. Okay, so. Okay, yes. So there is a there is like an eight to ten second delay on the chat. So sometimes I don't see it, but I think this might be it, because this is... Oh, big thing. Right, definitely need to go back home soon, because I'm very low on health. But is, is this it? I think this is it, yes. Kind of doesn't matter if I die because I'll just respawn. Ah! Said it didn't matter if I died. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to revive at the camp. We lose some weapon durability, but that's okay. But the raid is incoming. Um, but while we're here, he's got a present for me. Oh, thank you very much. He's given me a glowstone. That's very nice of you. Let's give you a crystal. So we'll give you a malachite shard. There you go. Now, what crystals have I got for the other ones? Uh, come out from under the bed. Stop playing around. And what can we give you? We can give you a cut jade. Okay, this is the one that's already adolescent. Okay. And where's the third one? There he is. Hello, you. I've got some crystals for you, I think. No, I don't have any crystals for you. Sorry, I thought I had some crystals for you. We can put some stuff in the cauldron. Um, and we can build the third bed. There you go. Right. So they've got a bed each. Which is which is good. And I also have... So I can unlock this. I can unlock plants. Food and plants. Because I do... I'm going to unlock plants. Oh no, it's a fir tree. 
No, I'm going to unlock... I'm going to unlock food. Right, and we're going to build one, and we'll build it here. We can build two. No, just build one for now. Right, the raid is coming. Uh, more crystals in the store cupboard. Yes, I did put some in there, didn't I? Thank you. Uh, where is the crystals? There, tiger's eye shard and the fluorite shard. Don't think there's what we need. No, there isn't. Okay. Raid is incoming. They keep hitting that bench. I just love that bench. Cabbage season. Big gun. Right, found a baseball cap. Right, okay. So we survived another raid. We didn't use the teleport to get back home. So you were saying that if I drop this rake and switch to the strongman hammer, that they will pick up that rake, deposit it in the depot, and then they will repair it. I think that's what you said. Um... Okay, well there you go. We've picked it up. We've taken it. Let's put it in there. Let's have a look. Is it in here? Yeah, 100%. Nice. Okay, so we don't need all of these weapons. Um, we can drop the candlestick. Not actually very good, is it? probably want to use that rather than the strongman hammer. Yeah, strongman hammer isn't actually that good. We want to use the lacrosse stick. Oh, no, okay. Um, and the side's not actually that good either. Got a good chance of doing a critical, but other than that, uh, and the hockey stick's not great either. Let's drop the hockey stick. Right, okay, so what's our plan now? What time is it? And how much longer are we going to play for today? It is one o'clock. So actually, we're pretty much done for today. I was going to do an hour and a half. I've done two hours. But this is a good place to end it. Um, I will definitely be back with more on Thursday. So 11 o'clock Thursday morning, I'll be back with part two of this. Getting an idea of what I'm doing now. Um, but I think we're at the point now where I just need to grind a bit and go out and kill things, get crystals. Um... And then one needs levelling up to adolescent, even though I've already done that. <laughs> um, which is odd. Now, why is that one exhausted? You should go for a lie down. You've got a bed. They've got a bed each. But I don't know why they're not using the beds. That seems a bit odd. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will be back in just under one hour's time with Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-Earth board game. Uh, I'm going to get it set up now. I'm going to have lunch. I'm going to get it set up. And yeah, I'll be back with that. So this is part three of my Lord of the Rings Journeys in Middle-earth, uh, the board game playthrough series. That's what I'm doing this afternoon. Thank you to all my patron supporters for funding the channel this month. Uh, if you enjoy the content that I make and you want to help support the show and see more videos like this and more board games, please consider supporting me, patreon.com forward slash gaming rules. But for now, I will say goodbye and I will see you all soon. Take care. Gaming Rules is proudly sponsored by Game Toppers, upgrading your gaming experience. Visit GameToppersLLC.com.